Hell yes. I told you we would do it. Hell yes. Hell yes. <laughs>
All right, well, 68%, not the best, but not horrible. All right, we're real close on performance. Ugh, and we just fell short, just fell short. 17 votes shy. So if we get up to about 300 to 350, we should be pulling these pretty good. Again, we gave away 64 shirts. That's going to be more fans in our next, next go round. All right, before I head out of town, so let's take a look at our calendar. So what I've done is I have set up uh, a two-week tour during the week. Uh, and then I have uh, on next Friday, I've got a battle of the bands in Macon. And then I've got a battle of the bands in Atlanta. So as we're going through, and then I've got this battle of the bands further into October. So what I want to do is I kind of kind of want to start booking gigs. You know what? I'm going to check in here and we're just going to spend the night. All right. All right. Let's head there. I don't think I'll be able to get theater gigs. Um, our, our, our manager's able to book theater gigs during the week. And we're not going to go, we're not going to come off well in these because we don't have the stage performance. Yeah, that's not going to, we're not going to get anything there. So theaters are out. So let me just drive around here for a little while, see if I can book some more battles. And then we will come back for the tour here uh, after I see if I can set some battles in this town. All right, we made it to Atlanta. I have not found any other battles to book, uh, but we do have a gig tonight. We went ahead and checked into the hotel. We've written another song. This one is a climate control song, or uh, what do they call it? Um, climate change, not climate control. Um, called Frostbite. So a couple of new songs up in that 60 range for us. We just need to get them practiced. Uh, but let's get to the gig. We've got one battle under our belt from Friday. So I want to do this one gig for you. And we're about halfway through the episode time-wise right now. So I just kind of want to do one gig here tonight. And then we'll kind of get through this and into Friday. And we'll focus on the Battle of the Bands this weekend. Oh, look at that. She already acknowledged me. All right, let's go ahead and clear our set list. Sort by quality. Let's go ahead and do our most popular song. We'll do that first. And then I want these in there. And then we're going to go back up just to maximum. All right, we are not high energy, so we need three songs. And then we want to go, we want to do three high, high uh, energy, then one low energy, one mid, en one mid energy to regroup. Then we'll go with Glorious Rat, Dollar Desperation, Her Thing Binds, and let's do from the Sapphire Mist. It's, it's, uh, it's a good topic for this area. And again, all these gigs are for us to try to gain some new fans from the band that we're opening for. That's really all we're trying to do. And we're trying to stay in Georgia right now to take advantage of those new fans come the Battle of the Bands in the weekend. So a very good show, which is great. Look at all the members that we have reputation with. 157 of our fans, and then we gave away 146 more shirts. So that could be leading towards us having 300 people 
in a future show. All right, Murrin has leveled up. Her stage presence is really as high as I need it, but I want to go, let's get to 60 and then another, another writing music. And then Marty will do that. Uh, you know what? Let's give it to him for playing. All right. So that's going to be that. All right. Let me go ahead and pause the recording here, guys. We are going to finish out the week tour and then we will be back for the battles this coming weekend where hopefully we have gained some new fans that will come out and support us. All right, we've made it through the first week of our tour. I'm going to just head home, knock out my repairs. For the second week of the tour, we've got a battle of the bands in our hometown tonight. This is one that we might be, that we should be able to win. And uh, again, this is this is a slog just getting these battles getting competitive in these battles and you know winning enough to get past that four threshold you know all right we're done there we can't practice today so let's go ahead hopefully we can pull this off tonight this is this is kind of our home bar uh, so let's see, we're going to pull off the last, I still think we go with I Appear, the Pro Pocket Protector. That's our most popular song. That's going to give us the biggest bang. We're going to take that one off. I want to go with Dollar Desperation. Oh, we can't do that. Uh, let me clear this. All right. One, two. Then let's go with our best let's go with our most popular song and then we're going to pop in our best two there and let's finish off with petty now we're at three four nine sneer for c is at three fingers crossed oh by the way trivia time if you know what metal band this is their symbol let me know in the comments. You won't get anything, just uh, some admiration. All right, 69%. Uh, Lively Star really beat us out there. Yes, we did it. We pulled it out with a fan score of 280, beating out Sneer for C, who finished second. Lively Star had the best performance score by far, but Celtic Lipstick wins the Battle of the Bands. That's another big 0.5 popularity. We gave out 44 more shirts. That is huge. Tell you what, let's head to the house real quick because we're in our hometown and we have a couple of these to hang up, don't we? So we've got one from here in Macon. And we've got another one from Atlanta. Awesome. Where are we going tomorrow? We have to go to Decatur. Not too far away, so we can clear our inspiration. All right. I wanted to get that one 20. And then we can do that one to 15. And I think we're good there. All right. Let's hit the road. We've got a battle of the band on Saturday up here in Decatur. Decatur is another good town to start in if you want. All right, before we go in, all right, looks like Allison and Joyce are getting their relationship a little repaired, but now Colby and Joyce are having issues. Colby, what's going on with you? Happiness, attitude, incompatibility. So as long as you, you know, like winning the battle of the bands gives you a hundred. Unfortunately, it doesn't go above a hundred. So that's the last thing. So, you know, that's manageable, but consumerism, depression, 
technology. I, I don't understand what the variance is there. I don't see any conflicts, but what do I know? All right, let's go in and do our gig tonight. Uh, also, taking a look at our, we're at 3.99, which is the maximum outer space, huh? Okay, that's a current one. Cool. So the next battle we win will be the last battle we can do, except we've got this one in Atlanta that's already booked. This was not a battle. This was just a gig that we took to open, and that is a battle there. So we've got two more if we win this one tonight. So we could get a whole nother point uh, in popularity if we win both of them. Uh, let's see. And this is, this is not a battle, is it? No, it's not. Crap. All right. So clear set list. All right. So this is not a battle. That's too bad. Still, we can, if we do a good gig, we could get that one tenth popularity right here. Not as good as getting a half point, but it is what it is. And there's the popularity. So that pops our cherry on the uh, popularity. We're at a four. We can no longer do Battle of the Bands. That's too bad, but it is what it is. So what I'm going to do here, uh, we've got about six or seven minutes left. Let me go ahead and hit the first week of this tour and then we'll come back for any battle of the bands we'll do that and then we'll end the episode there and then what i'll work on is i will get into my song list uh we need to start recording songs uh i'll need to go in for hopefully bigger tours start making some more money to be able to afford to pay for the best recording we can get. So when we're ready to record, I'll come back for that in a future episode. But right now it's going to be finishing out this tour, going back home, getting our playing skill maxed out on these, and then picking our 10 best songs, hopefully all at 50 or higher. And I do have... 10 songs here that are at 50 or higher quality. And once we have those maxed out, I'll probably re-record Pocket Protector uh, to try to get it at a higher level. Means I'll have to probably hire a producer and I will have to have money to pay for that. Uh, could cost me between four and $6,000 or more uh, per song to record. Uh, and then we'll try to get a record deal. Uh, but I like to have at least half of my songs recorded. Record contracts do call for a 10 song minimum. You can do more, but 10 song minimum. And I like to have about half of those just so they're already in the bag. And I don't have that long before I can release the actual album. So let me pause it here, get through the tour. We'll be back for the next battle, whenever that is coming up. All right, it's uh, Saturday. We've been through our week of tours here. Let's just open that up. So uh, everything was 100 uh, fan uh, acceptance or fan, whatever they call it. Uh, but we are back for a battle of the bands tonight. Let's go ahead and pull off that, that, and that. And... Yeah, let's go with this. We'll go with this uh, for our thing. Uh, we are the highest popularity, uh, but that, again, doesn't mean we have the most fans. Oh, come on. Come on. Of course, Murrin is our character, but look at the moves, the stage presence kicking up for these guys. I tell you what, the uh, lead singer gets very David Lee Roth-esque. Uh, when you get him up to 100. Uh, look at this. We pegged out audience interest level. Not sure how that happened. 
We're very close here. I think we did it. Yes. That's a huge win for us there. $4,000. That's big. Uh, we did give away 44 shirts, a couple of uh, copies of our singles. I had to stock up on those again. Uh, the good thing is when you hire a, a merchandise a guy for your crew, he costs money, but he does all the restocking. You never have to go to the shop and buy that out again. Okay, we've got uh, the last date of our two-week tour is on Monday. And then we've got um, an opening act that we signed up for in Columbus on Friday. Another opening act on uh, the following Friday. These are just some money making. And there is our last battle of the bands. Um, so what I want to do, I want to get home. I want to do our repairs. I want to practice these two songs, get them up to 100% so we can get those into our rotation uh, at gigs. Uh, then I want to start recording. Do I want to do a recording now? Tell you what, why don't we go ahead and do that? I have a day off between the gigs, so we'll do we'll go do and do a recording at home right now. Augusta's our next show. But we can go sleep in our own bed tonight. Everything now is who are we playing with? We're the opening slot for somebody that's half our popularity. I'm going to say no. Uh, need to start being a little finicky with that. We're double them, and it's, again, an opening slot. Typically, what I do at this point is very similar to what we did in episode one, but I think I have found a flaw with that. So remember in episode one, we drove to all the music stores to see who gave us the best buyback price? You want to do that for sure. But you can find a very cheap studio, and that's probably who you want to go with. But let's take a look at this. So let's say I want to record. We're going to record Petty. It's our highest popularity, highest quality song that we can play. So let's click on that. Now, if it gets up to where it's red, it means you're paying for time that you don't need. So maybe instead of 23 hours, you only need 21 hours. Now look at this, we max out, it's gonna cost us basically $900 and we'll get a 42 quality song. That's at $39 an hour with our skill as a producer. And that's Colby. Now let's change it up to Benjamin Sweet. He's got an 89, now you see the cost now goes to $204 an hour because we're paying 165 to the producer. I can get up to 57%, but it's $4,700 for 5%. Not really worth it, right? But let's go look somewhere else. All right, we're coming into Rose's studio. Now she charges $28 an hour, same song. I can only get up to 37%. But we can choose Benjamin here and get up to 53%. Now, your quality of the song will play a big role in the overall quality of the recording. And But you're not going to have a hit record with such low quality, with, with such low. Now, here we can choose Benjamin Sweet and get up to a 70%. But it's going to cost us $5,300, almost $5,400. But at 70%, we're actually going to sell more records. So I want to do that. And we're going to... Now, let's see. If we go with Stuart Settles, same, thing, same time, he can only max out at 54%. So we definitely want to do this. We're, and then we're going to record it. So we're just like writing a song, practicing. It takes all night and it ends the day when you record a song. And now you can see we've got our best recording. 
All right. So anyway, we have recorded our first song. It's a 70 quality. Now you're basically your first contract is going to require two songs of at least 40 quality. Well, we've got that in spades. I mean, you know, we could, we could record. All right. We'll try this part again. I've gotten a bunch of phone calls here. I hope I remember to edit all those out. Uh, but anyway, you can see we had recorded some songs and look, they're in the thirties and forties, but now we've got one at where'd it go? 70%. There it is. All right. I'm going to try this again. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we've recorded a song. You can see we had recorded some earlier, but you know you can tell the difference in quality. So the higher the quality of the recording and the higher the quality of the song itself, then the better your album's sales will be. Now, at some point, we'll be writing 100 quality songs with 100 recording rating and that's when we're going to start having hits hit albums hit singles uh up until that point you know we'll be lucky to you know crack the top 200 um but what i did in my personal playthrough is i did an album with these songs to start with but because we're taking longer to win these battles now I've got 10 songs that are all 50 or higher. So my first album with this band in this playthrough is going to be a better quality album. So I'm going to go back and like re-record this song here uh, and get that. And, and so this is the studio I want to do it at. Um, so shift, uh, click, no. right click there we go okay so that's going to be our our studio of choice all right well that is basically what we're going to do so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to spend the i'm going to finish out these gigs um i am going to have my manager right now look to find us some product endorsements to improve what we currently have uh, once I have these other songs and about half of the songs recorded, then I'm going to have my manager look for a recording contract uh, for a record deal. And then we'll see about putting a record together. And uh, that is probably when I'll come back is when we're ready to actually uh, do the record contract. Assuming he can find one. I may not be able to get one just yet. But we'll we'll see. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm sorry the end dragged out here, but I wanted to kind of skip a lot of the dead time that we were just repeating stuff. So you guys keep on rocking. Let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, let me know if you're playing the game. Uh, and check out again episode three in the comments. I put a couple of links in there to a couple of uh, guides and frequently asked questions on the game that I had found. Uh, so I'll share those with you guys. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.